Minneapolis. Hopefully, from his point of view, he won't have too much work to do. It's at the other end of the pitch at the moment, though. Collins. And it's a bit of a sloppy pass, missing the target there in in Ali Jamal. And it's out of play. Right in front of us here, between the two benches at Olympic Village. Nicolaitis had a bit of a shirt tug. It doesn't worry him. He keeps going. And now he finds Olsen in space. This is promising. Now it's Ellis. Ellis will send it into the box. The keeper is called into action. And Feely has a clean pair of hands. Here against Cannons tonight. A real early test of how far the Burgers have come under John Anastasiadis. Very early on, of course, but promising signs last week, but we'll learn a lot more about them once the 90 minutes are out here. Yokokawa, sloppy pass, and they might let the Cannons in here. It's Guest pulling the strings. Addis on the edge of the area. Plenty of navy blue shirts queuing up. Can Addis find one this way, that away? Hampson. Guest. Idara there. Did okay. Now Addis goes in and flops to the ground. And that was enough for the referee to give a free kick. Guest. What can he do here? Curling ball. And a header! one nothing. What a great effort. And it's that man, Connor Hanson. And what a s exquisite ball, Chris. Yes, right on the edge of the six-yard box. Couldn't have asked for any better than that. And Connor Hampson said thank you very much and thumped the header past Yaron Sosa. That almost looked like a tra training ground drill. I suppose it probably was because it was from a free kick and they worked it to perfection. And Heidelberg find themselves in familiar territory there behind against Oakley Cannons. And he goes back to Feta Hadjic and the Burgers go backwards to try and go forwards, but they mess things up. It's uh, a chance now for the Cannons going forward. Being caught out. Chance for two. Great save there by Souza. Cleared away. And uh, the Cannons really should have made it 2-0, Chris. Uh, I'll tell you what. Caught out there. One-on-one -on -one with the keeper, and Yaron Souza got down quite quickly and uh, basically saved Heidelberg's blushes. Heidelberg are trying to find a way through. Ball played forward. Good ball forward now, Salmon. The shot across goal, defended well by Feta Hadjic, and it's a corner. Been a problem for the Warriors. They're trying to play the ball out of back, but don't seem to be getting a bit of fluency in their play. Might have to change things up. And again on this left-hand side. The ball crossed in deep. Cleared. Only just. Chance now. Salmon. Can he turn on his left? And shot is charged down. And the free kick given. Cade, they're really, really causing problems here, the Cannons. Corner for Heidelberg United, Cade. Can they pierce this armour? Well, they have been a little bit better in the last few minutes. Getting into the Cannons box. And now their first corner. Can it result in their first real attempt on goal? Maybe their first goal. It's the man who scored their goal last week, Yokokawa, who's going to deliver it. And he goes short to Idara, back to Yokokawa. And that's a good delivery. And now it's out towards Collins, who can't get boot to ball. He's still going, the defender. And fairly spilt it. And Heidelberg, millimetres away from an equaliser. And now there's a bit of consternation. What's going on here? There's a Cannons player down. And there's a bit of pushing and shoving. And Idara over towards Olsen, who's been pretty busy coming into the starting lineup tonight. Ellis. And he's got some space in midfield. And he's got numbers out wide. One of them's Jamal. This is better from the home side. Jamal decided to go himself. He had Kane Shepard riding shotgun. Now here's Wellsmore. 
This is a much better game now, though. It's a pretty willing contest and a few challenges flying in and the referee, I think, is reaching into his pocket again here. Nearing half-time, both 1-0 score lines. But for how much longer? Free kick here for the Burgers. It's right to the back post. they got numbers. But there was no one there to meet the knockdown. And Cannons will come away. And it's Wellsmore who tumble, tumbles down. In fact, it's Valentini, rather, who tumbles down right in front of the benches, right below us. Stefan Valentini. He's been a bit quiet tonight. As I mentioned earlier, a hat-trick in the last meeting between these clubs. And here's Wellsmore. Him and Valentini, easy to mix up. Not only do they have similar numbers, but they pretty close doppeldangers too, at least from this distance. Intercept here by Shepard. Finds Idara. Things are opening up a bit more for the Burgers. They're certainly looking better as this half goes on. They might be a bit disappointed to have to go inside. Unless, of course, they go in a level pegging, which they could do. Pin was coming in. That was a nicely weighted ball and Pin... Couldn't quite get there in time. Last thing they want is to concede another goal here before half-time Heidelberg, given the way they've worked their way back into this game. And they've decided the best form of defence is attack, and that's what they're doing here through Nicolaitis. That's a dangerous ball in, but again, as has been often the case tonight, Josh Pin just can't quite get there. Curl on the ball in that dangerous position. And he does so. A nice deep ball. And it's half time here at Olympic Village where the visitors are 1 0 up with a goal from Connor Hampson. Great it is Oakley Cannons leading Heidelberg United by a goal to nil. The players are back out, and we're about to get underway in the second half here. Night has fallen, it's a cool but clear evening and certainly as that first half ended we saw both teams really opening up and playing some pretty attractive attacking football. It is Oakley having the better of it but by nowhere near as much as they did at times last season as we get underway. Well, look, I mean using that left hand side was a lot better uh, in the back end of that uh First half, and um, they need to use, um, you know, Nick. And as they go forward here, the chance, pin, and it's in. Oh my lord! As we were saying it, what a great effort! And Heidelberg United uh, score through Joshua Pin. What a great effort! Uh, one on one there, and. We got caught by surprise there, Kate. Yes, uh, they they we weren't the only people caught out. The uh, Heidelberg offside trap was certainly caught out as well, and Josh Pym was off to the races. And, uh, boy, he finished that with a plomb to a really emphatic finish into the bottom corner. And the crowd here at Olympic Village has come alive. The Burgers, they didn't wait long after the halftime whistle to get back on level terms. What a surprise that was. I mean... Okay, you just went and asked me, and I, before I could even look up, the ball was taken by Pin and uh, punished. Chance now. The Cannons! Oh, what a great save that by Souza. And I think it was uh, that man, White. Great, I uh, guess, sorry. And a great save there by Sosa. Got down to his right, and this is becoming a, a great end-to-end -end tussle here, Kate. It is, and we could see more attacking here because they've got a corner out of that cannons from the far side. So if you've just joined us, stay tuned and buckle up. We've got goals in the offing here. In comes the cross. And it spills up in the air out towards Salmon, who had that previous shot at goal. His attempt here is blocked. Now Kingsley Sinclair, the New Zealander, he loses the ball. And the Burgers 
try and catch them on the break. And now bustling through is Idara. And Eliopoulos goes all the way back to Feely. It's guessed. To the back post and Sosa came and got a hand to it. Didn't get it clear and now McGlip sends it in. And that's hit an arm. And the referee has... What's the referee done here is he pointed to the spot. There's a bit of consternation. They're right on the edge of the area. Hampson, Guest, and Salmon. Salmon into the wall. Another go. Still into the wall. Is it third time the charm? It's not. Now claims of handball. Referee says nothing doing. And Cannons play on. McGlip with the back pass. And it turns out okay. Salmon sends it across into the path of Sosa, though. United and Oakley Cannons. First and fifth. Oakley on top as that's a hopeful ball forward. Pin looking to get in behind again. He couldn't quite get onto this one. But yes, after winning last week. Yeah, I think um, the way things have been is uh, that the Cannons looking very dangerous. Ball played forward. The shot across goal and the deflection gives it a corner. And almost the Cannons again. The Warriors. Chance now again for the Cannons. Can they try and drive the ball into the back post? And it's a chance now. Claims for a handball. And really, it was wishful thinking there. Ball. Now going away to Heidelberg. Pin. He's against three defenders there, Cade, and there is no way they're going to get through to pin there with three defenders. Yokokawa, they look much more confident in possession now. The Burgers really struggled to get any passing patterns together in the first half, but they have gotten better as the game's gone on. That's a pretty rugged challenge there by Eliopoulos. And now the ball over the top and scampering in behind here is Olsen. Zara getting back belatedly to help him out. It's Olsen. Where's the cavalry? Oh, reverse pass. Ball across Shepard. Now pinned for a second. And it ricochets over the top. The Burgers centimetres from hitting the front. And they could still they have a corner here. The village is getting excited. Inside the final 20 minutes. And Heidelberg are coming on strong. And Danny Nong City lead Altona Magic 2-1. So goals elsewhere. Will we see more goals here? Not from that corner, we won't. It's ricocheted out of play. And the ball forward now. A chance. And it's one-on-one. -on -one. Or oh, taken wide. Crossed in. And claims for a penalty. And in the end, the referee has just waved play on. And you'd have to question, did he get clipped there? Ball into the box. The flick. Oh, what a great save again. Sosa. Amazing save. And the Cannons are peppering now, trying to find a way forward. And Chris Taylor is no doubt trying to woe his team into getting back to playing the kind of football they're well known for. Entering last chance saloon territory for both teams. If one of them's going to get a winner, we've crossed the 90. He just stopped his time here at the village. And into the area go Heidelberg. Ball comes across. And Eliopoulos sees it out for a corner. The crowd has stayed. And boy, oh boy, will they make a racket if Heidelberg do find a way through here. They've got a corner. It's floated into the edge of the six-yard box. It's punched away now. Yokokawa looking for his second goal in a week. Didn't quite make the sort of contact he did last week at Paisley Park. And it dribbles out of play. But it is another corner. Again, it's a great delivery. It's poured away by Feely, though. 
Now Yokokawa hoists it back into the area. He might have another go here, the Japanese. He does. Now sends it across. Up went Hampson with the header. All hands on deck for the Cannons in defence. Heidelberg haven't beaten Oakley in two years. Can they break the drought here? On the edge of the area. And that's a sloppy pass. Guest, oh, he just hesitated a little bit. Very scrappy game now. Both teams going hammer and tongs. Here's Adara driving forward. He's stripped of the ball, though. Suddenly, Cannons have some room, and it's Guest. Now out to Valentini. Valentini in the area. A couple of defenders ahead. He's on the move here. He runs into a yellow wall. End-to-end -end football here. On. Here's McGlip. No problem saying that name. Guest. And Jamal will deal with this to Souza. Souza could probably have a claims of man of the match award tonight. He's been terrific in goal for Heidelberg. And there is the look of resignation about both teams now. It looks like they're going to settle for a point apiece. Four minutes of stoppage time has elapsed. And that's headed out of play by Hampson, the man who scored the goal to start things off. And he finishes things off. And we have ended all square here at the village. Heidelberg United, they've come a fair way from when these la teams last met because after being flogged two times in a row by the Cannons, they have come from behind and secured a point here at the Olympic Village.